In this lesson, we will look at TypeScript's key of operator and how it can introduce type safety in your code when working with object keys. Let's go. Here we have a type representing a person who has a name, an age, and a location. We have an example of such a person in the form of John, aged 35, living in Melbourne. The problem we are facing is that we want to be notified whenever someone tries to read or modify John's age, for example, when he has his next birthday. Now in order to do that, we can pass John into a function that logs whenever a particular property is set or read. The function takes a person and a key corresponding to the property we want to observe. For example, in our case, we want to observe the age property. We can write such a function that takes a person object a string key that we want to observe and returns a person. Internally, it offloads observation work to JavaScript proxies. Now, a key issue in the signature of such a function is that any old string key can be passed in, even though it might not exist on the person object. For example, if we misspell age as ages, we do not get any compile time error because we're accepting any string key. Now in order to fix that, we can hand code the union of literal keys from the person object so the function only accepts name, age and location as a key, giving us great autocomplete and preventing silly typos. But then we would have to maintain this list of keys ourselves. Fortunately, this is something that can be automated with the TypeScript key of type operator. The key of operator takes a type as input and returns a union of the keys from that type. And this is exactly what we need for the log access function. Instead of typing out the union of keys ourselves, we can just annotate it as key of person. And we can verify that it protects against silly typos. And the code is now ready, logging any gets and sets for the age key on John. That's it for the key of operator. But as a bonus point, let's make the log access function a bit more general. Right now, the log function is specific to the person type. However, nothing in the code is specific to a person, so we can change the function into a generic function on type t. The function takes an object of type t, a key from the type t and returns an object of type t. And the log access function still works for the person object, but now we can also use it for any other object. For example, we can use it to log access on the text property of a to-do item. Because of the generic constraint that given an object t, the key must be of type key of t, we get the same great autocomplete and error analysis for the to-do item that we saw for John. And since our proxy implementation works on any old JavaScript object, the runtime works as expected, logging any sets to the text property on this to-do item. As a final note, it is worth mentioning that our log access function is adding type safety to a very dynamic piece of JavaScript proxy code that we don't need to worry about if we are using the completely type safe key of driven log access function. And that's all for this lesson on the key of type operator in TypeScript. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.